Welcome to your online course. I'm Dr. Connie Waters and I'll be your instructor for the semester. So what you want to do is after you've enrolled in your course and you're taken to the course page, I want to walk you through just how the course is set up and what some of the different capabilities are within your course. So on the top right corner, you'll notice that there's an instructor block. So it has my name and my picture. And then underneath there, there's a link that says message me. So if you ever have a question about an assignment or something that's due in the course, or maybe a link is broken in an assignment, you can get in touch with me very quickly by using this message me button. So what you'll want to do is just click on that and you'll get a pop-up box. And you'll notice here I'm logged in as Knights fan as a student. And so, you can move this box and expand it. So what you'll want to do is just type your message right here and say um, the link in assignment 3 is broken. And then just hit send message and that will go directly to me which comes directly to my phone which I always have with me and so I can answer your question very quickly. I will try to get back with you within 24 hours. Usually it's quicker than that but that's the maximum amount of time it will take for me to get back to you. Now, I don't really want to send this message, so I'm going to go ahead and exit here. But to send it, all I would have to do is click that send message button and it goes straight to me. And then I'll get right back to you. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that page. But just remember that message button because that's, since I'm not there with you every day, it's a really good way to get hold of me. Then below that, you'll see messages. So if I send you a message, it will show up right here and say you have one message waiting or whatever and you can just click on that link and it goes directly to that message and you can read and respond. Below that you'll see an upcoming events block and this will show you assignments that are due. So we can see that our first two assignments are due on Sunday September 4th at 11 p.m. and we can see what those assignments are right here and I can actually click that link and go straight to that assignment if I want to do it that way. Now, once I've done that, how do I get back to my course? Well, all I have to do is look up here. This is called a breadcrumb trail. So it tells you what section you're in. And all you ever have to do to get back to the course is click on the course name. So here's our course name, HGD, Mac Fall 16, which is Human Growth and Development, Mac Fall 16. If I click on that, it will always take me directly back to my front course page. Underneath the upcoming events block, you'll see an activities block. And one really good way to keep track of your assignments is to simply click this assignments button. And this is going to show you a list of every assignment in the course and when it's due. Now you'll notice over on the right, your assignments are always due on Sunday evenings at 11 p.m. And they're due usually in two week intervals. The only course that this is not true in is Intro to Teaching. So in Online Health, Online Personal Finance, and Human Growth and Development, they're always due on Sunday nights at 11 p.m. But again, on Intro to Teaching, those change. So make sure you look at those due dates. So you can see right now every assignment that's due in the course and the date that it's due. So you really have no excuse for late assignments. And keep track of these because if you're out of school for a field trip or something like that, you're expected to get these done on time. So make sure they're always on Sunday evenings, 11 p.m. Every two weeks, you always check those dates and make sure you have all your assignments in. Once you turn that assignment in over here in the submission column, right now it's saying no submission because I haven't turned that in, but that will change and show you the date that you turn those assignments in. So again, if you're trying to keep track of what you've turned in and what you haven't turned in, this will help you. And again, to get back to my course, I'm just going to click on HGD Mac Fall 16. Below that, you'll see a calendar block. And this will also show you due dates. Now, we don't have anything due in August, so I'm going to go ahead and click forward to September. And we can see here on September 4th, when I hover over that, you can see the two assignments that are due. So anytime you see that pink block on the calendar and hover over it, you can see what's due on those due dates. So always make sure that you're checking those and that you get everything in on the right times. Now, one more thing about the assignments block. Be careful here 
because these are only assignments that show up. So for example, if you have a quiz that you have to take in the course, it won't show up here. So don't rely too heavily on that. It's a good way to just kind of briefly look at what's due. But you'll also want to go through and scroll all the way down through the course because you can see here I have a quiz, but it's not showing up in those assignments. So make sure you go through the entire course page. And I'll get back to that in just a minute, but just know that those quizzes don't show up in the assignments. Now, below there, you're going to see a navigation and an administration block. And the thing I want you to do before you even start the course is to dock those blocks. And to do that, up to the side of navigation, you're going to see two little squares. And I'm going to make my screen bigger here so that maybe you can see those just a little bit better. There, that might help. And one has a minus sign and one has a left arrow. Do not click on the minus sign because if you do that, that block is going to hide and you're not going to be able to see it again. And you're going to have to message me and say, I've lost my navigation block and I'll have to fix that for you. So what you're going to do is go to the left arrow. And you can see when I hover over that, it says dock navigation block. So I'm just going to click that. And now you can see my navigation block is up over here on the left. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my administration block. And I'm going to go to that left arrow where it says Dock Administration Block. And I'm going to move that over to the left too. Now, here's the cool thing about those two blocks. Whenever I scroll down the course now or back up again, those never move. So that's why it's good to have Navigation and Administration over here on the left. Now notice when I hover over those blocks, they'll pop up. Navigation is where you want to go within the course. So if I wanted to look at early childhood section of the course, I can click on that and that will expand and it will show me every resource and assignment and quiz within that section. Then I can just click that again and it will collapse and I can go to a different section. So you can navigate the course that way, or you can just scroll up and down. Then your administration block is very important because that's where you're going to go and look at your grades. So every two weeks when I grade your assignments, I will send you out a message that says your assignments are graded. And all you have to do to see what you've made on those is come over to the administration block. Again, hover over it. Click on grades. And that will take you to your personal grade book. So you can see here that here are some assignments and then this gives the range of points. And so for example, on this first assignment, there's a hundred points possible. So once that is graded, your grade will show up right here in this column. So if you got 89 out of a hundred, you'll see an 89 here. It will show you what percent that is. And then if I make any comments on your assignment, it will show up in this feedback column. So this is your personal gradebook within Moodle. You and I are the only ones that can see your particular grade, so it's not open to anyone else. And that's how you check that, is through the administration block. So remember, it's just administration and then grades. Then to get back to my course, again, I'm going to go to my breadcrumb trail and click on HGD Mac Fall 16. And that takes me right back to my course page again. So those are the main blocks on the right side. Then you'll notice within the center of the course is where all the course material is. So within this first topic section, you have just some general resources. So here are course announcements. So for example, when I get your assignments graded, I'll put in a course announcement that says your assignments are graded, go into your administration block, click on grades and look at your, at your grades for this two weeks. And you can go right there. And so course announcements are for when I want to send a message to all of you at the same time. Then another way, if you have questions, is to post them in this forum. So you can click on that. And all you have to do is click Add a New Discussion Topic. And everyone can see these. The messaging button that I showed you earlier is a private message between you and me. But this is something that the whole course can see. So if you have a question and you think it might be interesting to everyone within the course, put it in this discussion topic. So here you might say, um, question on 
can type. Question on assignment two. Let's say, I'm not sure I'm understanding. And then continue whatever your question is. And maybe someone within the course can answer that for you. So this is a back and forth forum where back and forth forum where you can correspond with other members in the course, you can correspond with me, but maybe a classmate might answer that question quicker than I do. So if you want to do that, you can post it here, and all you have to do is click post to forum. And I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to post in this forum. Well, I'll go ahead. And you can just see what it looks like and I'll take it out later so you've posted and you can just click continue and here is your question so if you see one of those questions within that forum you can click on that if you want to answer it and go ahead and click reply and you can say I think what you should do is in reply to that person and just click post and again continue so you can see how those threads start to form just like any other discussion forum you do online again to get back to my course I'm going to click on HGD Mac and again I'm back in my course so this is just forums your course syllabus is right here so you can go through read your course syllabus and to navigate through there you can just click on the arrows or you can use the table of contents over here to go ahead and move through that handbook. So you can see all the course objectives, methods of instruction, the course content is right here. So you can see all the assignments, what their points are. And then let's go back to the first page here. Let's say that you'd like a hard copy of this syllabus. Once you are within it, you have to open it first, but once you're in here, again, hover over that administration block and now it gives you the option to print this book so you can click on that you get again this oops you can expand this if you'd like and here it is all in a nice little print form and all you have to do is come up here to the top print book and that will print right out for you so if you like those hard copies they're right there and that's how you do it Again, we're going to go back to our breadcrumb trail and click on our course name and now we're right back in now once I finish this video I will also post it right here so if you ever need to go back and review anything on how to turn in an assignment or how to check your grades the video will be posted right here so you can always go back and watch it now your course is divided into topic sections and if you look at your navigation block just to look at it real quickly you can see that our topic sections are about human development beginnings early childhood and this is the same in every course again this is just the example course here but be it health personal finance intro to teaching everything's divided into these topic sections so let's look at topic section one you'll notice here that in the top we have resources below that we have assignments and activities and then below that we have assessments so that's the same setup in every topic section you always have your resources your activities and assignments and then your assessments so you always want to start with your resources because that's where you're going to get the information for the course then you'll go through and do your assignments and then you'll take your quiz on that section then you'll move on to the next section which is birth to three on this one and again you have your resources your assignments and your activities and we'll go on down just a little bit and then your assessments so <clears throat> excuse me it's the same setup every single topic section so let's go back to the first topic section you'll see here that we have the study of human development chapter one so let's go ahead and look at that this is a summary of all your chapters and again you'll see that you can navigate using the arrows or you can navigate using the table of contents so you don't have to sit down and read it all at once you can, you know you can always go back and pick up where you left off and again we're within a book resource so if we want to print it we can just use the print book and that will print out for you if you'd like that hard copy now as you go through 
you'll see that I have gone through and done summaries on every chapter of the book for you. Some of these will contain charts. Some of them will contain videos. So as you're going through, you can actually watch this video as you're going through. So that helps you if you're a visual learner. It helps explain some of the content to you. You don't have to read everything to understand it. There's also videos to accompany those. So make sure you go through the entire resource as you're going through. Again, more charts and more videos. So it's a good way to go through and read the chapter summaries. Sometimes the book, especially in human growth and development, gets a little involved, and I've tried to summarize that down for you as much as I can in these resources. In health and personal finance and intro to teaching, the only resources you have are online. You have no book to fall back on. So make sure you use these resources and go through them completely. Now to get back to my course, I'm going to go click on my breadcrumb trail. So now that I've read my resources, I'm ready to go through and do some assignments. And there are two types of assignments within a Moodle course. One is called an online text, and the other is called upload a file. So you'll be able to see what the difference is when you click on that assignments button and go back to the list. Um, you will see, let me take my screen down just a little bit again. You'll see the assignments here, and as you go through, let's look at, um, I think critical thinking is an online text. Yes. Okay, so what this is going to do, let me go back to the beginning here and, and access it from the course page, because that's a little bit better. We'll go to our critical thinking assignment, <clears throat> open it, and you can see here that we're talking about the domains of development. And so what this is asking me to do is to answer these four questions. So what I can do here, you'll see at the bottom it says to complete the assignment, click Add Submission below and copy and paste the questions. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these. I'm just going to highlight. I'm going to use Control C on my keyboard to copy. And then I'm going to click on Add Submission. Now once I do that, you will see a text editor. And to expand that to give you full text editing abilities just like you would in a Word document. Click on this little keyboard over here and that will expand everything. So you can now left justify, center right justify, um, you know, anything you need to do. Add a, add a picture if you want to. But basically I'm just going to hit Control V on my keyboard which will paste. And so now here are the questions I'm supposed to answer. So now I can go in and type just like I was doing a Word document. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is my answer to that question. And then I can do it again for this question. Just hit enter. And so once you've answered all those questions, all you have to do now is click on Save Changes. It takes just a little while for that to load. And so now I can see that I've submitted this assignment for grading and I had 169 words in my document. Now let's say that after I've turned it in I think, oh I wanted to add one more thing. All I have to do is click on Edit Submission. Come down here and I can, let's say I forgot to answer question 3, so I'll just come down here and edit this. and then click Save Changes. So you can make any changes that you need to make up until that due date passes. So this is due September 4th at 11 p.m. I can make changes up until that time. But once I'm finished, then or once that time passes, I can't make any more changes. So it's been submitted from grading, and so I'm good to go. And all I have to do now is click back on my breadcrumb trail to my course title. And I'm taken back to the page. So that's how you do an online text assignment. Now let's find one that upload a file. Um, let's see. Oh, let's do a couple of other things now that we're in topic two. So I'm going to go through and answer these questions, take my quiz, and then I'm going to move on to topic section two. You will notice here 
that this says you can't open this activity until forming a new life is complete. So in other words, none of these assignments will open until you've read the resources. So I'm going to make you at least open those resources and go through them before you can get to your assignments. So what I'm going to have to do is read this. And I've gone through and read the whole thing. And then I have to go through and read the next resource. I'll do this quickly here. I would pick one that has four resources on it. Read that one. And you really do need to go through all of these, not just click them on and open. And now I've read this one. And so now that all those have been marked complete, my assignments should open, except they're not. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these. Sorry, I forgot I had to go through to the very end. Do it again real quick. And you'll notice now that I've gone through the end, it checks off. So I'll do this on this one. I'm going to cheat. Don't do this. <laughs> and go back to the beginning. Notice that checked off. Then I'll go through here. Go to my last page. Come back. And one more. <laughs> we'll get through this. Alright, go to my last page. And go back. Alright, so now all of those have checked off, and you'll notice they've checked over here because I've completed them, and this is a real good way to keep track of things too. For example, after I do these and they've been turned in, then those will check off also. So it's a real good way to keep track of what you've done and what you haven't. So now that I have opened those and read them, my assignments are now available. So we're going to go ahead and go to Twins and Baby Making because that is one that you're going to upload a file in, so it's a little bit different. So here's one that I'm going to go to this website, and I'm going to read about twins, and then it says I'm going to write a three-page double-spaced paper to turn in. So let's say I've composed that paper in Google Docs. And so I'm going to go ahead down here, and I'm going to click on Add Submission again. And what you're going to do to find that file is come over here to this little piece of paper that has a teeny tiny plus sign on it. Let me make my screen big again and maybe you can see that a little bit better. <clears throat> so I'm going to click on this paper. This is Add when I hover over it. And then you can go to wherever you've saved that file. So if it's in Google Docs, you can go ahead and go here, and you're going to have to log in the first time you do it. And I have several accounts, so I'm going to log into my school account. And it should bring up all my Google Docs. So I'm just going to find a document down here. I'm going to select this file. It takes just a minute to load, and then you should see it sitting right here. So to turn that in, all you have to do now is click Save Changes. That's an important button. Make sure you click Save Changes. And again, it takes just a little while to load, depending on the size of the document. And now, again, I can see that it's submitted for grading. And again, I can still edit that submission. So let's say that I turned the wrong one in. I clicked on the wrong thing, and so I need to change it. So I'm just going to click on Edit Submission. Scroll down just a little, and now I have to click on that file. Say Delete. Okay, that's gone. So now I have to click on this again, and let's say this time I saved it in my documents, um, in a Word file, or maybe I have a jump drive that I'm going to save it in. So now I'm going to go to Upload a File, click Browse. I'm going to go to my Documents, and I'm going to find a document here that I can upload. Um, let's just find one here. Here's a syllabus. So I'm going to, here's my syllabus right here. I'm going to upload that file. And here it is. And I just click Save Changes. Again, it takes just a minute for that to load. 
and so now I can see where it's submitted for grading. And again, you can edit this up until September 18th at 11 when that due date is. So to get back to my course, once again I go to my breadcrumb trail, click on my course name, and now I'm back in the course. Now, one thing about assignments and due dates. Um, I told you that you can edit those assignments until the due date passes. Once that due date is over, once those Sundays 11 p.m. pass, that add submission button goes away. So you can no longer turn anything in online. So if your assignment is late, you'll need to email that to me. So you can share it on Google Docs or you can email it to me, but I take off points for late work and you know right now every due date for the course until the end of the semester. So there's really no excuse for having late assignments, but if you do have one, you'll get points deducted and you'll have to email or share those with me on uh, either email or Google Drive. So just so you know that. Then let's look at how to take a quiz. Let's go ahead and click on this, open that quiz, and here you're going to get two attempts. Now, one thing that's really important about quizzes, I don't mind if you use your notes, I don't mind if you use your book, you can consider this an open book quiz, okay? I just want to know that you know where to find the answers. So all you have to do is click attempt quiz now, say start attempt, and this is going to look just like any other online quiz that you've ever taken. So you go through and you just click an answer here, here's a multiple choice, so I can just click on whoever I think those people are. I'm just randomly choosing these and go through and do that with every question. Now let's go ahead and quickly go to the end of the quiz so you know how to turn it in. And once you get to the end, you can see which ones are answered, which ones have incomplete answers if they're not answered yet. And let's say I forgot to answer number three. I can just click on that three, and that will take me back to that one. So I can answer it. And again, go back to the end. So now I can see that that one was answered. And once you're finished, all you have to do is click Submit All and Finish. Moodle will automatically grade your quiz. So as soon as you click that button, you'll know exactly what you made on that quiz. If it's two attempts allowed, you can go back and try it again. Your highest answer will count. Most of the quizzes, I will tell you, is one attempt only. So again, you can use your notes, you can use your book, you can use any notes that you've had in the course. Go ahead and use that and consider it an open book test. So we're going to submit all and finish. And I can see right here every single question what my grades were and it gives me the right answer also. So you can go through and check those. And then once you're finished, again, go back here. And you're right back in the course. So I think those are the main things that I need to tell you. Again, make sure you check those due dates. Use that calendar. Use that upcoming events block. Use your assignments block and make sure all of those get finished. Make sure your assignments are always in on time. If they are not, you need to email those or share them on Google Docs. And um, I will message you every time I get things graded. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask Mrs. Eves. She has done this for several years and she can help you with almost any assignment that you have. So please use her as a resource and don't be afraid to ask questions. And again, if you have any other questions you need answered, use that message me button and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So I hope you enjoy the course. I hope you get a lot out of it and don't hesitate to contact me whenever you need to. So have a great semester and enjoy your online course. Thank you.